analysis of a bunch of randomized drug trials suggests that taking a blood pressure-lowering medication for high blood pressure may reduce the risk of getting a heart attack by 15% and the risk of getting a stroke by about 25%. What a coincidence! A recent study found that we may achieve similar benefits eating just three portions of whole grains a day. The observed decrease in systolic blood pressure could decrease the incidence of coronary artery disease and stroke by 15% and 25% respectively. While whole grains are good, refined grains may not just be neutral out of Harvard, white rice, brown rice, and risk of type 2 diabetes. And these Three prospective cohort studies of U.S. men and women, they found that regular consumption of white rice was associated with higher risk of type 2 diabetes, whereas brown rice intake was associated with lower risk. An interesting wrinkle is that they found other whole grains may be even better than brown rice. Eating white rice was associated with a 17% greater risk of diabetes, replaced with brown, and instead apparently get a 16% drop in risk and replace white rice with other whole grains, such as oats and barley, a 36% lower diabetes risk. Just a single serving a day of oats and barley may lower our cholesterol. See, whole grains are more than just refined grains with a fiber coat. With uh, you know, white flour, you just get this. But all the rest of the nutrition is stripped away which includes most of the compounds responsible for you know, whole grain contributions to the health of our bowels, weight, blood sugar, cancer prevention, bones, brain, and heart. The powerful effects of whole grains aren't lost on the food industry marketing teams who now offer a whole grain guarantee on foods like this.